How's it going out there, fellow YouTubers? Okay, this is going to be a review for the Japanese model Nintendo 64. Um, it's actually uh, was a request from Ganon23000. So uh, this is going to be my first review. So give me a break. I mean, I'm using my webcam. I don't have the fancy HD, 3D. You know what I'm saying? So uh, bear with me. I hope the lighting's not too crappy. But uh, anyway, here it is. It looks like your uh, average everyday Nintendo 64. Um, I actually I put a little label on there that says Japan, just because I'm uh, kind of crazy like that. You know what I mean? Um, everything is the same. Obviously, the lockout version is different. Take a close look at uh, a uh, Japanese Nintendo 64 cartridge. Or actually, my bad, this is an American cartridge. The back is a little different. Here's a, uh, here's the same game. Japanese, American, okay? You take a look at the backs. You see the, uh, the uh, little slots are a little different. And check out the difference of the uh, artwork. Pretty, uh, pretty japped out. There's that jap American. Um, the only other real differences on this system is uh, you get that fancy uh, Japanese writing on the power supply, which is just too cool to have. And of course. You know, the model number's different and all that. I actually got a really good deal on this. Picked it up on Craigslist with four games. I don't know, one of them was like a WCW Wrestling. I got the, uh, what is this? Pokemon Stadium, which is actually Pocket Monster Stadium in Japanese. And uh, two other games that aren't really worth mentioning. But, uh, you know, it's cool to have. So, uh, yeah, I mean, everything is the same. All the uh, controller outlets are the same. You know what I mean? The door is the same. Pretty much uh, just a Nintendo 64. But uh, you don't have to do the mod to play Japanese games on this one. Isn't that swell? If you've got any other questions about it, let me know. If you want to see any uh, reviews on any other systems, I have them all like labeled on my page. So check it out. And, uh, yeah, let me know uh, how crappy I did on my first review. I'm sure I left out a lot of stuff about it, but whatever. And, uh, yeah, subscribe to my page, and uh, maybe I can do more of these videos. Thanks a lot for watching.